The woolly mammoth, like the dinosaur, went extinct thousands of years ago. But have you ever wondered what it would be like to bring back to life these long-lost species? And of course, to witness the majestic woolly mammoth roam the northern tundra once again? Well, get ready to explore the awe-inspiring story of the resurrection of the woolly mammoth and the potential impact it could have on our world. And if you're new here, please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update whenever we post. So let's get started with the video. Extinction has plagued our planet for millions of years, claiming the lives of billions of species. And now, with a new wave of mass extinction caused by human activity, the world is experiencing an alarming disappearance of species. In fact, some experts fear that 30 to 50% of all the species on Earth could be heading towards extinction by the end of the century. But what if we could turn back the clock? What if we could reverse the irreversible and breathe life back into these vanished creatures? Scientists around the world are pushing the boundaries of genetic engineering to make this a reality using revolutionary genetic techniques. And to begin with, we have the iconic woolly mammoth, a massive creature with long, shaggy hair and curved tusks that thrived during the last ice age. Once the ruler of the Arctic tundra, it mysteriously vanished about 4,000 years ago, the period when humans emerged. Most scientists believe that changing climate conditions and human hunting of the woolly mammoth for food played a significant role in its extinction. But now, we have a chance to resurrect this magnificent creature. Now, you're probably wondering why scientists are settling on the woolly mammoth, right? Well, unlike dinosaurs, which are so ancient that their DNA has turned to rock, we can actually find intact mammoth DNA in the thawing Arctic. These preserved remains hold the key to reconstructing their genome. In fact, in 2010, scientists discovered a mummified woolly mammoth in Siberian permafrost and preserved it in ice. The paleontologists of Japan noted that this mummified mammoth is one of the most incredibly preserved mammoths in history, with all its parts and brain in perfect condition. They even managed to extract blood from the frozen mammoth. Now, all these may sound like science fiction, but a Dallas biotech startup called Colossal Biosciences is determined to make it a reality. Colossal Biosciences, founded in 2021, is on a mission to reverse the devastating loss of biodiversity caused by humans. Described as the de-extinction company, they boast of a staggering $1 billion in valuation and have raised over $225 million in funding from various sources, including the CIA and renowned celebrities. These funds will help advance the de-extinction projects. But how is this going to be achieved? Well, to understand how this monumental feat could be achieved, we need to dive into the fascinating world of DNA and genetic engineering. And we get to realize that scientists have invented a revolutionary technology known as CRISPR-Cas9. CRISPR is a powerful gene editing tool that allows scientists to precisely locate specific genetic information within millions of strands of DNA to make targeted modifications. It works just like typing a specific sequence of letters in a computer, which instructs the CRISPR protein to make precise cuts in the DNA, altering the genes. With this technology, it becomes easier to resurrect the woolly mammoth, considering that scientists have managed to recover well-preserved DNA from ancient specimens preserved in permafrost, providing them with a blueprint for creating the mammoth's genetic code. The DNA extracted from the woolly mammoth is then spliced with the DNA of Asian elephants, which are the closest living relatives of the woolly mammoth. The resulting hybrid DNA is then used to create an embryo which is implanted in an Asian elephant. If all goes well, the elephant will give birth to a woolly mammoth calf in 2027, which some call a mammophant. However, in the process, scientists are still plagued with the challenge of finding a way to make the mammoths cold resistant. Of course, scientists believe by editing specific genes responsible for cold adaptation, hair growth and other characteristic features, they'll help to address this issue. Another challenge that scientists face with CRISPR technology is that the DNA extracted from ancient remains degrades over time, with a half-life of about 521 years. That, therefore, means that before they can clone mammoths, they need to carefully fix and perfect the DNA. 
Besides, there is a need to create an artificial mammoth uterus lined with stem cell-derived tissue to nourish the mammoth fetus. But despite the challenges, the scientists involved in this project are confident that they'll be able to bring back the woolly mammoth soon. Now, if the experimentation with the woolly mammoth succeeds, it's going to be another groundbreaking progress in de-extinction. So far, the only successful case of de-extinction is that of the Pyrenean ibex, also known as the Bocardo. Declared extinct in 2000, scientists managed to clone the ibex using preserved DNA from frozen skin. However, the cloned kid tragically survived only for seven months, becoming the first animal to go extinct twice. It's a somber reminder of the challenges and risks involved in this ambitious field. But even as we work on de-extinction, here's a crucial question we must all ponder. Should we bring back these extinct species? De-extinction goes beyond simply resurrecting individual animals. It's about restoring entire species and their roles within ecosystems. Just because we can bring back woolly mammoths doesn't mean we should. So, as you can tell, resurrecting the woolly mammoth will most definitely come with a potential impact on the ecosystem, both positive and negative, which scientists must carefully consider before proceeding with de-extinction. On the positive side, the de-extinction of the woolly mammoth could help to restore the Arctic ecosystem. Woolly mammoths were important grazers, and their absence has led to an overgrowth of trees and shrubs. This has made it difficult for other animals to live in the Arctic and has also released more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. And this explains why the Arctic, which is one of the largest ecosystems on the Earth, is currently facing the threat of melting permafrost. However, by repopulating the Arctic with cold-resistant elephants or mammoths, these trends could be easily reversed. By trampling down snow in winter and knocking down trees in summer, the mammoths would allow cold air to reach the ground delay the release of carbon and promote grass growth, transforming the Arctic tundra into a thriving grassland environment once again. This could have a significant impact on combating climate change. However, some experts believe that there are alternative ways to tackle environmental challenges without resurrecting these gigantic creatures that require vast amounts of resources. In addition, de-extinction could help to preserve the genetic diversity of life on Earth. Woolly mammoths are an important part of the evolutionary history of elephants, and their extinction would be a loss of genetic diversity. Having a backup for our diversity is indeed a turning point for genetic research. It shows the potential positive impact that scientists who work with genomes can have on the world around us. These effects could help to save our planet's biodiversity. With 42,000 species threatened with extinction right now, de-extinction is indeed a welcome idea. But of course, there are also some potential negative impacts of the de-extinction of the woolly mammoth. For instance, it's possible that the mammoths could interbreed with Asian elephants, which could lead to the creation of new hybrid species. This could have unpredictable consequences for the ecosystem. Another potential negative impact is that de-extinction could lead to the exploitation of mammoths. For example, they could be hunted for their ivory or their fur. Generally, the de-extinction of the woolly mammoth holds incredible promise, however, we must approach it cautiously. This considering that the process of de-extinction comes with several ethical concerns, such as manipulating female Asian elephants with various techniques, such as using their eggs, acting as maternal hosts, and raising the mammoth babies as their own. Besides, releasing the woolly mammoth to the wild also comes with its own challenges. It's essential to consider the long-term consequences and ensure that the move to resurrect the woolly mammoth supports the preservation and protection of existing endangered species. So there you have it, guys. As you've seen, the creation of a mammoth-like creature with traits resembling its extinct ancestor is feasible within the next decade, thanks to the revolutionary CRISPR-Cas9 technology. Indeed, this is an exciting development that has the potential to change the world if taken with caution. What's your take on the resurrection of the woolly mammoth? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more incredible content like this. Thanks for watching and, as usual, I'll see you in the next one.